It's like from one end to the other. Like I'm a blank, but I'm also an alleged 18 -y. So it's like no content versus so much content. And then when you're blessed with so much content, like you forget how to act. Oh. Hi, welcome! So today's video is super exciting because we are going to be predicting some K-pop comebacks. So we have Somi, Blackpink and Lady Gaga, the Red Velvet subunit, ATs who have actually not confirmed anything in terms of comebacks, but I have been asked a lot about my predictions, so this will just be for fun. And then of course, TXT, who is a group that I don't really stand, but I definitely appreciate them from far, but you guys are ruthless. Where's the TXT predictions video? Do you just hate TXT? Why are you ignoring TXT? Why are you treating them like this? My goodness. <laughs> you know what, kids? Mostly adults. Very, very few children. There will come a time where I will be even more irrelevant than I am currently. And that says a lot. So before the time comes, let's make the best of it. Subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with friends you don't have. Okay, so our first artist on the list is Somi. So if you guys didn't see her reality TV show, she did show some teasers in it. Very, very briefly, we did see a little bit of the choreography. We did see the evolution of some of the choreography. So we have a little bit of an idea, but the snippets were just so short, it's kind of hard to tell. Though through the reality TV show, we also found out that the comeback has been postponed, which sounds like such a YG thing to do, and I know people are going to say, but she's under the black label. I mean, same difference. But anyways, I digress. Birthday was indeed a song that was very polarizing. I feel like you either loved it or hate it. But because of the song's polarity, I'm definitely expecting something that is a lot more easily digestible to most audiences. I personally liked Birthday, but I also understand that it kind of spoke to maybe a more niche crowd, if that makes sense. So for her comeback, I definitely think it's gonna be a little bit less extra, but it's still going to scream so me. Just maybe, just maybe not to that extent. <laughs> and we did see a little teaser in her show, as I've mentioned. And honestly, you know, mixed with the choreography, it gave me as if it's your last vibes, kind of mixed with falling in love, but there is a little undertone of somberness to it as well. So kind of as if it's your last, mixed with falling in love, but also mixed with a little bit of I love you from 21. And I know we don't like the comparisons, but I feel like it's kind of inevitable, especially being under the black label, which is a sub label of YG, who also uses the same producer, Teddy. So, you know, I feel like, you know, he has a specific sound and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm definitely feeling it's gonna be like a summer song, so we're gonna have those vibes to it, but again, a little bit more toned down. And actually, as I'm editing this right now, I remembered that clip that shows the quote unquote original 21 version of As If It's Your Last, which I personally don't believe is the original version because it features CL's lines in Go Away. But regardless, I think the sound of this snippet is another way to kind of describe the tone of what Somi's comeback could potentially sound like because Go Away is a little bit more somber and paired with the brightness of As If It's Your Last, I think it creates a very interesting dynamic. And as for the styling, I'm feeling a little bit of Twice's Dance the Night Away, but with much brighter colors because I don't know if you've noticed, Somi is just like a ball of energy. And whether you liked the song or not, Birthday was definitely Somi's song. Like it, it perfectly reflected her as an individual. And as you see her on her show, she's She's just, you know, she's out there, she's energetic, she's very, very animated. So I think Birthday for her was the perfect debut song. So I feel like even if the song is going to be a little bit more toned down, there's still going to be those soulmate elements, there's still going to be those elements of, you know, bright colors, neon colors. I have no doubt about that. And if I'm wrong, you guessed it, I'm selling Kevin. <laughs> Okay, now let's move on to the Blackpink and Lady Gaga collab. This is so exciting. I've already made all my videos about Blackpink comeback predictions. I'm bored out of my mind <laughs> just thinking about it. But now we have a confirmed date for the Blackpink and Lady Gaga collab, and that is May. 29th it is so soon and you know i like to keep up with my black pink news and i've seen a lot of posts on instagram kind of alluding to the fact that oh my god people are posting so many pictures of you know powerpuff girl stickers hello kitty stickers i mean i don't know how you found this i don't know how you know this information <laughs> some people are even like showing pictures that their nail artists have posted like that's a level of dedication that 
I never had <laughs> for anything. Again, I can't confirm the validity of any of this. I mean, I could be being clowned right now. I have no idea. So I just want to put that out there. But these pictures give me life. Like I was born into this world <laughs> to see this collaboration. I mean, this is everything I've ever wanted. This is kind of actually in line with what I predicted. So I predicted in another video that it would be along the lines of Johnny's Lulu, you know, with like stickers on the face and just like very cute like that. And from seeing these pictures, I'm, I can't even. This collab, if it does go in this direction, is going to break the internet like style wise alone is going to break the internet and obviously we're not gonna have music show performances for the song but like i'm willing to bend the rules to make an outfit roasting video just for the music video if you know it's amazing so here are a little bit more of my predictions so you know solar's transparent sticker dress those vibes, 100% those vibes with like neon pink fishnets and tall platform pink boots. Dark hair with pink streaks, which really isn't a prediction, but I saw a picture of it as well. Long ass nails with like fake whipped cream and like 3D teddy bears and like 3D Hello Kitties. As the title, Sour Candy suggests, it's going to be a bubblegum theme with of course some edge. We need some edge. So I'm picturing some like leather straps around the thigh, but they're gonna be pink, but they're gonna have spikes. Do you know what I mean? Like 2012 cute tumbler. I, I literally cannot. I've built it up so much in my head. If it's not exactly what I pictured, I'm selling Kevin. <laughs> Okay, so now let's move on to Red Velvet. So, as some have confirmed that Red Velvet are going to have a subunit with Irene and Sergei or Sergei. The question remains to be answered. What name am I pronouncing? So, I've definitely read like quite a few comments that it's going to be like very soft and vocally based. And you know, like that's all fine and everything, but I don't know. I'm going to read your comments for sure, but I want to talk about my hopes for this, which is very not in line at all with what I think it's going to be. I want something like red flavor, but on steroids, like something that's very reminiscent of orange caramel. Like if they dressed up as sushi, <laughs> I wouldn't be mad at that. Like we just need a concept like that, like a subunit concept that is just so quirky in nature that makes us think like, wow, what year am I in? <laughs> like, I want it to be on the same wavelength as like dressing up as strawberry milk. Do you know what I mean? Just something so cute and quirky like that. And again, I don't think that would really be what they would go for. Like, I definitely think they would go for something like a really dark, sultry, very vocally based. But I can't help but want something just like more in like cute, quirky direction. I don't know. Because the industry really is saturated with girl crush and there's nothing wrong with that. But you know, I don't think it's enough to just do a cute concept anymore. I think you need cute, quirky concepts, which aren't done, as far as I know, really anymore. I don't know, leave down in the comments below, like, when's the last time you saw, like, a cute, quirky concept that, like, blew your mind? Like, orange caramel level, strawberry milk level. I'll wait. <laughs> but... On that same note, well not really, on a different note, on the more sultry, you know, vocally based note, if they did something along the lines of Sister 19's Gone No Longer There, I think, it, like I think, I think it would be absolutely amazing. And I said this quite a few times in like many videos that I would love a concept like this to come back. And this could actually be the perfect opportunity to do that. Okay, so now we're moving on to ATs. So like I said, ATs have not announced anything. I'm so sorry for getting anyone's hopes up. But like I wouldn't doubt if it's still kind of soon because right now they're releasing, you know, their internet content on YouTube, like their individual shows. But they're releasing this content at such a fast rate, like I wouldn't be surprised if it's kind of to build up an audience for their next comeback because they expressed, I'm so sorry. So it wouldn't surprise me that this is a build up to something fantastic. So I'm gonna talk about my hopes, but I am going to talk about predictions as well. I've seen a lot of people talk about, you know, utopia versus dystopia. I'm not sure if ATs have talked about this. I feel like I missed something somewhere, but everyone's talking about, you know, the dichotomy of utopia versus dystopia. So for me, I would really like a utopian comeback. Definitely a wave 2.0. I think that's one of their best eras, but then my two favorite eras are wave and, and say my name. So like I, I love when they do either or, but I think it could be cool like a music video that's kind of like Dance the Night Away by Twice, where they're kind of 
stuck on an island. But get this. There's parrots. I will see myself out. A lot of people ask me about my intro, like who is saying what in my intro? It's actually Yosung from ATs, and he's saying gang gang cockatoo. Gang gang cockatoo. And it's from Mnet's treasure film in episode two. They go to a zoo and he sees a cockatoo, a gang gang cockatoo, and he says gang gang cockatoo. And I just thought it was amazing, so I put it in my intro. But alas. I don't think they would go for that. Maybe for a B-side track, it would be really cool if they could do a B-side track like that. With a music video this time, like I, <laughs> it's like from one end to the other, like I'm a blank, but I'm also an alleged a e allegedly. So it's like no content versus so much content. And then when you're blessed with so much content, like you forget how to act. And then you become selfish and you're like, um, I think Horizon deserved a music video. So, um, entitlement aside, it would be cool if they did like a B-side track with a music video where they're stuck on an island and there's parrots. But anyways, <laughs> from what the fandom is talking about, a lot of people are saying it's going to be like much darker in nature. Darker than answer. I think they're going to go more elegant, more majestic. Think of BTS Blood, Sweat, and Tears mixed with G Idol Lion mixed with 4 Minutes Volume Up. I feel like it's going to be definitely somber, but more on like this elegant, majestic side with like gold and big Victorian esque house, I guess. Also, I'm hoping that someone eventually is gonna do like a 90s heartthrob filter. Like, it wouldn't be a terrible time to try it out. Just saying. <laughs> I've been asked so much about TXT, and I'm not sure if it's the same person just spamming me because I haven't <laughs> paid attention. But like, you guys are kind of ruthless. <laughs> I never said I was a TXT stan, a MOA. In fact, I think a lot of the MOAs kind of hate me. And I did like put out a video for their comeback with Runaway, and I gave my theories and all of that stuff. So I think like that's where it's coming from. Like, you guys want more of my theories, but I have no idea about like anything going on with txt <laughs> at this point i feel like if i gave any theories people would be like you don't know what you're talking about you don't even you don't even know the timeline like i don't i'm just <laughs> i'm just giving you like <laughs> i don't know i'm sorry but i do appreciate them ever since run away it was like it was like one of my favorite songs of the year to be honest with you amazing song and there was like a lot to look into in the music video. It was like really cool. So I have been kind of keeping up with their teasers a little bit. Not every single one of them, but I have seen the most recent ones where they kind of have like red stained shirts. And I thought it was interesting because at first I thought it was blood, but then more looking into it, it seems like it's not really blood. Like it almost seems like they were eating a popsicle and it like melted on them. I don't know. So maybe, just maybe, you know, the stains symbolize blood but then the stains were made with something more innocent like a popsicle if that makes sense so i don't know when we see the real music video <laughs> maybe we could look more into it together like a collaboration so i don't look like a fucking idiot again but i mean it is like a little bit confusing because i don't know like what the red is i'm sure we'll find out maybe we won't maybe the teasers are not in line at all whatever so i'll be honest i don't know what to expect obviously i'm kind of hoping that it's like quite whimsical like runaway but then again like <sighs> I don't fucking know. And of course, as I'm filming this, there are more teasers that have been released. And honestly, oh my god, it sounds amazing. It does give me kind of these whimsical vibes, but it also has just maybe a little bit more of a mature vibe as well. So maybe Runaway paired with like maybe run from bts and blood sweat and tears like kind of all put together with that txt feel i mean there's also these creepy vibes to it as well which i don't really have anything like to use as reference i can't really think of it because it does in some instances feel a little bit creepy but it doesn't you know go anywhere near like a goth territory kind of like vix or anything but I'm definitely excited to see what it sounds like and what it looks like and maybe we'll do a music video review who knows Okay, so I asked you guys on your, on my community tab what your predictions were for all of these artists. So let's read some of the comments. Based on the snippets, Somi's song sounds heartfelt and rawly emotional, but still bright and dancey like the sound Somi is building for herself. I love songs that mix emotion with a poppy dance break. I agree. I think the Blackpink and Lady Gaga collab will sound more contemporary and eerie than Blackpink's normal music, leaning more towards the signature sound of Lady Gaga. Hmm, I don't know. I really don't know like what to expect for the sound specifically. I think it's gonna be like really bubblegum, but then I, I don't really follow Lady Gaga that well. 
I'm almost positive AT's comeback will be in the beginning of July. It will be a dystopian concept with a very reminiscent nostalgic feel. Kind of dark but very emotional. And the choreography is going to be heavily based on contemporary or it will have a contemporary flair. Yes, definitely on board with that because I remember in Yoasang's vlog, he was showing that some of the members were taking contemporary dance lessons, but if only some of the members were, then like, I don't know, like why only some of the members... I don't know. I don't think TXT's comeback will be as dark and as emotional as the teasers make it look like, but I do think it will have more mature vibes than their last comeback. The Red Velvet subunit will be mature and a bit sexy and will be everything I've wanted in the three years I've been a K-pop fan. TXT, I think will be something really challenging for them considering some members have said they had never done this hard choreos or the fact that they will change their vocal range for this song going too far. I think it will be dark, the type of dark which has become part of TXT that is fantasy dark. Okay, that is basically it for this predictions video mixed with a little bit of my hopes, but whatever. When have I ever been that cohesive? I wanted to thank you for making it this far. If you did, you might as well click on another one of my videos. I mean... Come on. I must have entertained you somehow. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. <sighs> Whatever. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.